right, so today I wanted to take you through a quick review of the Evanex Heat Shield window covers. So they kind of look like this. There's going to be eight of them in a pack when you get them in the mail. And there's two options to choose from. There is a silver side and a white side or a gold and a black like I chose. Now you can kind of see both sides are kind of shiny and each pack of eight uh, also comes with these little suction cups that you can use that go through these little holes right here to help secure it to the window. Now I'm going to tell you something. You don't need the suction cups. You can take these, throw them. You only need them for two of the eight window coverings. And those are only for the two coverings for the panoramic sunroof. Other than that, you do not need them at all. They actually just pop into place so you can see just like this. So they kind of have like a little bit of a give to them and but they're still rigid enough that they'll actually maintain their rigidity and when you put them on. So you actually don't need the suction cups at all, which is actually great. Uh, but then there comes another problem, which I'll get into in a minute. But if you want to put them on, so let's say it's during the day and I just want to keep the sun out. So I'm going to use the gold side. If it was at night and I wanted to stealth camp, like in a parking lot or something like that, and I just wanted it to look like black limo tent and nobody could see in, then I'm going to use the black side. That's why I ended up going with the gold and black. Whereas if you went with the white and silver, well, you're going to stick out like a sore thumb than if you're trying to do any like type of stealth camping. So let's say it's daytime, like it is right now, and I want to keep the sun out. Well, I'm going to put this side out. So you can see right here, I'm just going to take it, put it right in there. And it just forms, the edges just kind of form around it. So again, it has the rigidity to, to maintain it. And I've done this hundreds of times and it hasn't lost that at all. So still just as good as when I got it. So now that creates another problem. You have these holes. Well, why do they have these holes in it? So that's one of the things that I wish that Evanex would change. I'm gonna go through four different things I wish they would change in their next update. But number one is removing the holes from six of the eight different coverings. Because again, you only need them for the panoramic sunroof coverings. You don't need them for the other six. And what happens then is, let's say you're trying to do stealth camping at night, you have a little bit of hole here. Now I will say, it's really like maybe like 5% that you could even maybe see just like a tiny little bit or if somebody came up and looked really close. But in reality, nobody's gonna do that. So I think it works really well already, but it would just be a little bit better if they just got rid of these or gave you an option to get them without these, at least on six out of the eight, minus the ones for the panoramic sunroof. The panoramic sunroof ones, I don't even have with, and I'm not gonna do those in the review. I think Bjorn did those recently where he showed that how they worked, which wasn't real great from what I remember, but I don't use them because I have the cargo box on top, so I just don't even bring them with me when I'm out here. But I'm sure the suction cups will help a little bit because it'll keep it up there, whereas there's no, there's not kind of a ridge around the window like there is on the sides. There isn't that for the top for the panoramic sunroof. So I think you'd probably have to use these for that. So the second request I'd have for Evanac to do in their next update is to make the black side matte. There's no reason to have it shiny. There's no benefit to that at all. So if they can make it matte and remove this little yellow sticker here, so it's all black, no holes, and it's matte, that is what we're looking for. That's what stealth campers want. And again, if these are going to be used and they're cut specifically for the Tesla Model Y or Tesla Model 3 or whichever Tesla you have, you wanna make sure that you're getting the most out of them. Well, there's no benefit to having the black side other than having it for stealth camping. So, or when they're on the inside, so that it's dark. So I would suggest just making it black, getting rid of the holes and getting rid of this yellow sticker on here, either putting that somewhere else, I don't know where uh, necessarily, but having it right on here kind of just makes it stick out for no reason. My third request would be to have uh, a black side and a silver side instead of a gold. They don't seem to offer this option. I'm not exactly sure why, um, but I just think it looks better if you're gonna have these out, having gold, I don't know, I'm just, gold isn't my thing. So I'd prefer to have silver on this side and black, matte black on this side. I'd also like the cut to be a little more precise. 
you'll see when I put it on, uh, there is a little extra room, which is kind of nice because that's what gives it its rigidity and allows it to kind of like mold into the window. But I think there's still a little bit too much or there's like little gaps occasionally. They're very tiny, like super slight. So it's not gonna make me not want to buy it, but you know, for the price that they're charging for these, you know, for have custom cut ones, they could be a little more precise. Oh, and my last request for Evanex is they come in eight different pieces and they're all shiny and slippery. Having a carrying case, some kind of sleeve or something with it, that would be very helpful. <laughs> yeah, um, these are kind of annoying because they just kind of like, you'll take them out, the wind will be blowing and all of a sudden they'll fly out of your car or they're just in back and they're sliding around. So it would be very helpful, Evanex, if we could get some type of sleeve to come with them. It could be just a very thin piece of fabric, but that's kind of shaped perfectly for it and you just slide them in that would be very helpful so overall my review of these it's very high like on a scale of one to ten i'd probably give them like an eight and a half um, besides the three or four things that i mentioned that i'd love to see updated in the next version i think they're phenomenal and they've literally made my life so much easier i can stealth camp pretty much anywhere i've done it from caesar's palace to other hotel parking lots to, to city centers to, to neighborhoods, to all sorts of places. So they've been great for that. And then when you're camping and you wanna keep the heat out, keeping the shiny side out um, rejects a ton of heat. So it actually keeps it nice and cool when you have camp mode on on the inside. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to install them, which is like literally takes like one minute <laughs> for all of them. And then I'm gonna show you what they look like from the inside and the outside and on both sides. And then I'll also show you what they look like at night. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to put up this black side on the outside. So let's say you're self camping like I did at Caesars Palace a few weeks ago, and you wanna make sure that nobody can see that you're inside. So you're gonna to wanna to take the black side. You're gonna to wanna to put the top in first and then scrunch the bottom in. So you just go like this, right up in there. And that's it. And you can see how the top is in there perfectly and then the bottom kind of overlaps that little overlap is actually good because it provides uh, the ability for it to just have that rigidity and so it just sticks on without needing these at all and that's what i like so there's no need for the holes so evanex let's get rid of the holes or at least make an option for that and now they're for all the windows even these tiny little ones in the back here so you take this just like this just pop it on there that's it i mean it literally takes like two seconds on each window. The biggest issue is just, there's no carrying case for them. So they're kind of like all over the place and they're sliding everywhere. And so like even putting them now, trying to take them out from the back and put them in the front seat, the ones that I'm not using right now in this demo, I'll show you, it's just like, it's a pain in the butt. So this is what they look like during the day with the black side out. You really can't see anything. You can see this a little bit, which is why I said I wanted them to get rid of that, put it somewhere else or just put it on. I don't think for safety reasons it has to be on there or if it is, make it a lot smaller and make it a different color. All right, and so here's what the back one looks like with the shiny gold side out. It still looks pretty dark. Obviously there's a little bit of glare right now because it's light out, but I'll also switch it to the black side real quick. it out flip it around put the black side out and that's how the black looks during the day it's literally just looks like I mean you can't see it obviously you can't see through but it just looks like black limo tent and here's the little window in the back that has the black set out can't see anything you can kind of make out right here like a little hole Again, somebody would have to come up and really look, you know, really look close. All right, so as you can see, I put the other ones here, the other, uh, I guess, like four or five remaining uh, here in the front seat. See, like super slippery. The middle ones fall out. Come on, Evan X. <laughs> Give us some type of carrying case for these. This is ridiculous. All right, so we're pretending to be stealth camping. So we're going to put the black side out for the front one. So we're gonna take this, slide it in, wrap it around the mirror right here, the rear view mirror, push that up. And 
And that's it. And you can see there is a little bit of light that you can see gets through there. What I've been doing is I just uh, put like put a couple of bags or items or stuff up on the dashboard and that kind of pushes it up a little bit and then there's almost no light coming through at all. But again, I've been on the front at night and nobody can see inside. And this is what it looks like from the front with the black side out. It just looks black, especially at night, like in a really dark environment with no lights at all. It just looks pitch black. And then with uh, lights, like in a parking lot or something like that, um, there's a little bit of shine to it, which is why I wish they would do it with the matte finish on the dark side. This is what it looks like with the gold reflective side out uh, to you know reflect the sun. I wish this was silver. It just lo would look better, but still not bad. I do like the black side and the other side. I just wish it was matte. All right, and so this is what it looks like from the inside with the black side in. You can kind of see the holes right there. Again, Heaven X, no need for them. And if you look, like there's a little bit of light coming through. I can kind of you know, shimmy it over and try to get it where it's almost perfect. I feel like the cut could be just a slight bit better, but as you can see, like I mentioned earlier, they just pop right off. When you want to put them back on, you just slide them up to the top part first, and the bottom just kind of lays on here like this. Again, you can kind of see like a little bit of light coming through right there, but you can kind of like shimmy it around like I mentioned, and that'll pretty much do the trick, but they're, you know, there could be a slight better cut. But I do like how the rigidity just makes it so that they just kind of like push in and you don't have to use any of the suction cups or anything like that. So so let's say I want to take this uh, small window and put that one in with the shiny side out. I just put the top in first, then the bottom, and that's it. And it just pops in and just stays there with no problem. Again, no need for the holes. All right, so it's dark now out at the campground and I just wanted to show you what the Evan X uh, window covers look like at night. It's obviously going to be, I have the black side turned out um, just because this is typically what I'd use at night or what I'm using uh, to stealth camp. I have all the lights on inside and YouTube going. And you can see there's virtually no light coming in. I go back around because I saw a little crack of light. You can see a little one right there at one of the holes. But that's pretty much it. Yeah, you can see like another little one right there. But from a distance or just standing back here, you'd have no idea. Yeah, they really got to get rid of those holes. <laughs> and then this side, same thing. Yeah, you can kind of see right there. And then this front left window doesn't have the treatment on it yet. No cover on it. You can see. Got all the lights on. But then back here, black. Black. Black with a little hole. Might get some black tape or something to put over those. And that's it. And from the front too, can't really see anything up there. Looks pretty good. So that's what they look like at night. Um, this is at a campground, so this is about as dark as it's going to get. Um, it's almost 9 p.m. right now, so just about to be pitch black. I wanted to follow up with one thing about the little holes. So like you can kind of see here, you can kind of see, there we go, there's one. There's another one, you kind of see. Now it's pitch black out at a campground. If you're at a parking lot, like at a hotel, or you're in a city stealth camping and there's a light over the top, nobody's gonna be able to see those. This is only if it's like literally pitch black out, like with no other light pollution. But if you have lights from like, you know, overhead lights in a parking lot or something like that, you're never gonna see because the light's just gonna bounce right off here and there's gonna be a little bit of a, a reflection and you'll never see that. But again, Evanex, if you're listening, we appreciate some without the holes. All right, and this is what the Evanex window covers look like from the inside when I have the black out.
Yeah, so overall, my impression of the Evanex heat shield window coverings is probably, like I said, like an eight and a half. So if you're looking to get nearly perfectly cut window coverings, if you're gonna be camping or doing any type of, of urban or stealth camping, something like that, then I'd suggest the Evanex heat shield window coverings. Could they do a few upgrades that would make it even way better? Yes, and I hope they're listening. I know they follow me on YouTube, so I'm hopeful that they'll see this and make a few updates in their next version. I'll also have links to the Evanex heat shield window coverings down in the description below. Evanex isn't sponsoring this video, nor are they providing me with a demo unit. Although I did talk to them and they did offer to send me a demo unit and I sent them my address and they never followed through and sent it to me. So that doesn't change how I feel about them. I think that they're a great product. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't follow through when they said they were gonna send me a demo unit, but oh well, you know. But yeah, I'm not an affiliate of theirs as they don't have an affiliate program and uh, they didn't sponsor this video. It's just a product that I spent a few hundred bucks on. So I did want to share it with you guys just to let you know how well they did work. So if you want to see more quick reviews like this in the future, please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, I'll see you in the next travel video or review. Thanks for watching.